Hello friends, my name is Ramasu. Today we shall discuss about a topic that cumulative flow diagram. And today's topic is very interesting and uh, hopeful that you would like this video. We have taken this topic from the Scrum Body of Knowledge. Uh, so uh, today we shall discuss this topic in detail. So let's uh, start. First of all, I request to please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell option as well so that my new videos can reach to you. So let's uh, start for it. Cumulative flow diagram. If you just see the term cumulative flow diagram so that means we are basically referring to a, a diagram or of some figure actually now the cumulative flow diagram also known as CFD okay is uh, one of the most advanced Kanban and the agile analytical chart it provides a concise visualization of the three most important metrics of your flow cycle time throughput work in progress so these are the three factors about which the cumulative flow diagram diagram tells you cycle time throughput work in progress so the main purpose is to show you how stable your flow and is help you understand where you meet need to focus on making your process more predictable it gives you quantitative and qualitative insight into past and existing problems and can visualize massive amount of data so basically cumulative flow diagram is uh, basically it's a chart and it gives you insight about these three factors cycle time throughput and work in progress and by analyzing the data it is giving you insight about uh, qualitative and quantitative insight about the past and the existing problems so this is a very very important chart if you use it and it is a uh, uh, advanced kanban and analytical approach of agile as well so a uh, cumulative flow diagram it is uh, mainly used or you can use a chart which is used in agile and kanban what is agile and kanban this is a uh, approach of uh, basically uh, so sdlc software development life cycle <coughs> now um, let me show you a high very uh, high level of uh, uh, the cumulative flow diagram it is uh, the cumulative flow diagram it looked like this okay so uh, this is the uh, cumulative flow diagram in which you are seeing for different uh, uh, graph, basically a graph with which different colors now we can discuss that actually what is this graph actually um, the uh, basically the chart tracks the total number of work items in the columns of in progress uh, in your Kanban board the horizontal axis of the cumulative diagram represents the time frame for which the chart is visualizing the data. The vertical axis shows the cumulative number of cards in the workflow and various points. The uh, differently colored uh, bands that divide sections of the upward flow are the different stages of your workflow as they appear on the Kanban board itself. The bands always go up or uh, sideways in accordance with the number of assignments that go through your process actually <coughs> so um, the top line of each band on the cumulative flow chart represents the entry point of tasks in the respective stage of your Kanban board while the bottom one shows when it leaves it if a line becomes flat and nothing uh, arrives in the correspondence stages or nothing is leaving it using uh, CFD you can get an idea of how long your task approximate cycle time is basically so uh, friend uh, I hope uh, that you are uh, getting the idea of the uh, CFD or cumulative flow diagram so uh, this is possible by measuring in the horizontal distance between the top line of the first stage on the cumulative flow diagram and the bottom line of the last in progress stage the number of days slash weeks slash month that have passed in the approximate average cycle time of your team assignment for the frame the distance between the line of a CFD cumulative fire flow diagram is basically will show you uh, the problem of your uh, workflow okay uh, let me show you again uh, the cumulative flow diagram okay uh, <coughs> this is the cumulative flow diagram if you uh, see from here uh, this is the cumulative flow diagram with different color like it is the backlog okay it is in production it is in verification it is the done so and this is the work in progress okay so uh, you can see from here 
uh, different uh, stages of a pro task and projects are uh, different tasks are mentioned here and with reference to different uh, stages you can analyze the work uh, in progress the through throughput etc uh, accordingly so friend uh, thank you thanks a lot for watching the video i hope you like this video if like please share it with your friends and colleagues and thanks for watching the video thank you friends